What's up, everyone? Good morning. We got Frank uh, the Tank, or the why not? Uh, yeah, we'll just call him that, Frank the Tank. Um, battery is already super low, so I don't know how many clips I'll be able to get driving around. But I did get a Wii with Wii Sports, uh, two Wii remotes, two nunchucks for twenty bucks, and then the first thing I found today in here is a pink DS, a really shiny pink DS with a charger. Uh, that was five dollars. Um, it's so miserably hot already. He's he brought water and I forgot to bring water. So if I die, you got to start driving around because yep. I'm already gonna die right now. There's a uh, garage sale right back over here, and for eight dollars, I got a silver PSP. It has a screen protector on it. The I'm hoping the screen underneath is not scratched up or anything. Uh, there's no battery in it though. The battery had exploded. Um, not like to the point where it was leaking or anything, obviously, but it just puffed out, so it wasn't in there anymore. Um, there's a charger, there's a car charger. I figured for eight bucks, and it had a memory card inside, it was worth a gamble on it. Um, I actually don't have a silver PSP. The back is a little scuffy, but it's not absolutely horrible, so I'll probably end up, end up just holding onto it until I find like a, a better condition one. But uh, it's probably pushing like 90 something degrees, 95 it's so degrees. Hot and it's only 9 o'clock in the morning. This is ridiculous. But there's no breeze. Look at I me. Mean, there's there's nothing. It's just. It's dead. It's dead out. But uh, lots of garage sales. So, I mean, not finding a ton of stuff, but at least we're not driving around doing nothing. Just swung by this Cash America over here. Um, this is the one where in the past I've gotten some really, really good deals. Um, the main person that deals with the video games, she recently, in the past few months or so, she started, you know, marking the prices at a little bit higher. Uh, I think maybe she was realizing that she was selling them too cheap, so, um, she's still very nice. And I did pick up something from my collection. It is not in perfect shape, but it is better than every one I ever seem to find. Shut up, bus! Damn. Um, it's gonna get hot here now. This, I got it for 50 bucks. It's the Mario Edition DSi XL. Came with a charger. Um, screen has a few little scratches on it, but there's no cracks in like the outer shell, which always seems this one has cracked hinges or the corners are cracked on it. So I picked that up for myself. And then you got. I got uh, Game of Watch Gallery 4. For three. For three. And a different. Drop yeah, shell. he's showing us stuff he got yeah. throughout the morning. Uh, one of the little GameCube pouches. That was and a buck. Uh, the whole Star Trek original <laughs> series. And they originally wanted 20 got it for 15 That's a lot of Blu-ray discs for $15. Yeah. Just had the uh, score of the day for sure. Um, for 100 bucks. I just got two copies of Smash Bros. Mario 64, Mario Kart, Harvest Moon, Super Mario 2, uh, Super Mario Sunshine, Zelda. It's starting to rain right now. <laughs> Mario Party 6, Smash Bros. I'll tell you that story once I get out of the rain. My camera died actually right when it started to pour down rain, so unfortunately there was no more car footage for the day. But Katie's here now. Hi. She is playing the new Heavensward expansion for Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, she had early access to it, and <laughs> she played like 11 hours yesterday. And what's your favorite part so far? Flying. Flying. The gold. But I don't get to fly yet. Not the gold choke, the black chocobos. Uh, she gets to ride I got around. My black Anyways, um, before I show you the rest of the stuff from today and from earlier this week, as always, it's time to do the game giveaway. And um, since Katie's here again, I'll just use Katie's head as the drum. So uh, here we go. Brrr, the winner of this week's random game on whatever system they want is. Timothy Dahl. Congratulations, Timothy. Uh, please send me a personal message either here on the YouTube page or on the Facebook fan page. The link to the fan page is in the About section down below. Let me know what system you want your game to be for, and uh, I will get in your address, your mailing address, and I'll get that out within the next week or so. It usually takes me now about a week to at least get them out. Anyways, um, and as always, there is a game giveaway this week as well. All you have to do is be subscribed, thumbs up this video, Leave a comment down below. Comment can be about whatever, but the suggestion this week is related to what? Conventions. There we go. Conventions. Um, it's kind of coming to that season, the summertime. There's a lot of conventions going on that cover all different types of what you might enjoy. Comic books, video games, whatever. Um, do you go to any? Are you going to any that are coming up? Um, what, what have you, uh, your favorite one's been in the past? For me, 
Uh, this year I'll be going to one in Tampa called the Fanboy Expo, which is in just about a month from now. I'll actually be setting up at that convention um, with Jeremy. And then in September, nope, yep, September, beginning of September, um, we'll be going to Dragon Con in Atlanta, just for the hell of it, for fun. It's always something we do. And then when, at the end of September, it's Retropalooza in Texas, the Game Changers Convention. So that's my convention stuff for this year. But anyways, that's the comment suggestion. So to enter the game giveaway, all you have to do is be subscribed, thumbs up this video, leave a comment down below. And the co contest always goes until Friday, Eastern Standard Time, at 9 p.m. to enter. And then you have to watch the video on Sunday to see if you won or not. Um, on to the pickups. Oh, one thing I wanted to mention real quick as I show you some stuff. The, I've been getting a lot of messages relating to not being able to leave a comment and like actually enter the contest. People are saying it's like the comment section is disabled. It's not disabled. It has to do something with using like the mobile app for YouTube. And if you had recently updated that app or something, it's not allowing comments to be shown. So I, I heard that some people have like undone the update and now it's okay. Regardless, if you go on a computer or on, or if you don't update it or something, you can still leave a comment. So I just want to make sure people know that the comments have not been disabled. It's something to do with the app on like a mobile device. Cause that's yeah, computers. That's it. That's the answer. Computer stuff sucks. Um, the first thing I'll show you is sort of the recap of when it started pouring down rain, uh, when I was out, uh, in the car, the last clip you saw, this is all the stuff I got for a hundred. Um, I'll also uh, show you a little picture in a second of what Frank got. Unfortunately, since the camera died, I couldn't show you all the stuff he got as well. He ended up getting one of the uh, copies of Smash Bros. Uh, on 64. He wanted one, so I we bundled it all together, bought it. So I paid a hundred bucks for it all, and then he bought the Smash Bros. out for eight dollars. Um, so the rest of the stuff that was in there, Super Mario Bros. 2. Mario 64, or Mario 64, Harvest Moon 64, uh, that Ocarina of Time, Mario Party 2, Super Mario 64. I just can't remember if you guys actually got a chance to see all these or if I skipped any in the car. Uh, Mario Kart 64, there's another copy of Smash. The guy actually ended up having three copies of Smash Bros. on the 64. Uh, he wanted to keep, obviously, at least one, so those were the two extras, the one I got and the one Frank got. Um, we have... Wind Waker, that's complete. Uh, Sunshine is complete. Melee is complete. Mario Party 6 does not have the manual. Um, I'll throw... Oh yeah, hold on. First of all, I'll, I guess I'll tell you the story of what happened with this stuff. We go to a garage sale, 12.30 in the afternoon, pull up, and we see this sitting on a table. And it had a sticker that said $35 on it on the outside. And this woman had said that, uh, when we got out of the car, she goes, I still have your number. I was going to call you. And I'm like, okay. Like, why was this out? Because she had said that she was going through a ton of stuff, and there was probably video game stuff in there. She just didn't know. And um, she, she'd call me and let me know, because I had been to her sale like two weeks in a row now. This is the third week. So this was out at her sale. She didn't call. But regardless, at least we got there, I guess, as she was technically putting it out at like 12.30 in the afternoon. Um, so I asked, well, did you find any games? No, she hadn't found any games yet. And uh, as we were talking, a neighbor of hers came up and she goes, oh, this is like my local game guy. You know, he's really into games. And I was like, hi, do you have any games you want to sell? And at first he's like, no. And then like three seconds later, he's like, well, maybe. <laughs> so he's like, I, I probably have some doubles and... Uh, extras and stuff that I'm, I'm not interested in keeping so we walked over to his house she held this for me uh, I come we go over to his house and then we ended up you know going through a 64 bin that he had and he pulled out like a Nintendo and some other things so we basically pulled together a bunch of games and he had more he had more that I wanted but they weren't extras they weren't ones he wanted to get rid of um, he had like uh, Ogre Battle and Majora's Mask and Pokemon Stadium 2. He had a bunch of really good games. He had more GameCube games as well, but he wanted to you know, keep those. Um, so then we did the deal for 100 bucks. walked back around, and she said that she let me do this for $20. She had just thrown a random price on it, because like I said, we had talked multiple times and we were looking for the game stuff. I'm just not sure. Maybe she honestly lost my phone number. Maybe she actually doesn't have it. And she was just like, oh crap, you came back. 
Um, but she has my phone number again now because uh, I actually gave it to her neighbor as, as well in case he wanted to sell anything else. So hopefully if she comes across any of the Genesis games, then I can get those. Um, this is in mint condition, though. Uh, I, actually, that word is a bad word to use because, no, it is not in mint condition. It's just in very, very, very good condition. It's all complete in there. Uh, very nice. So that was definitely the late of the, late of the day. Fantastic find. Uh, some of the stuff you didn't really see. This was the pink, the uh, metallic pink DS that I got, which is in really nice shape. Isn't that pretty, Katie? Look how pretty that is. Mm, it's all shiny. Pretty. Yeah. <laughs> uh, inside's really, really clean. That did come with a charger and its matching stylus and everything. Uh, the silver PSP uh, does work. Um, I just used the charger to see if it would power on and play it. It does. It had a screen protector on it, and luckily, underneath the screen protector was fantastically shiny. Um, the back does have some scuffs on it. You can see right there, there's some scratching scuffs. I'm going to keep it because I don't actually have a 3000 model silver one. And if I come across one that has like a really screwed up front, I'll scratch up or whatever. But the back panel's okay. I can always just replace the back panel. So, hanging on to that one for the collection. And that actually came with... Uh, a car charger, a, a wall charger, two cases, and a memory card in there for eight bucks. So that was a really good deal on a PSP. Um, you already saw the 25th anniversary 3DS XL I picked up at that pawn shop. Uh, I have this is the Wii bundle that I got, which the controllers. I just want to point out were just like regular original white controllers. Two two of those two nunchucks, and the obligatory copy of Wii Sports, which every single week I seem to find at least one Wii Sports copy. And they still trade in for $6 at GameStop, so it's definitely worth picking up always. Uh, then I have some stuff. Oh, wait, one more garage sale find from today. Um, we picked up, we went to this one garage sale two weeks ago, didn't have any games. Looked like they would never have games because they had just old little knickknacks and tchotchkes and stuff. But she said, well, we're going to have multiple garage sales. Maybe there'll be some games. And I guess her son was there this time. And a sealed copy of Batman Arkham City on the 360 for $3. Uh, that was the last garage sale find of the day. Actually, that was the very last one we found. Um, then we went to Eminem Games, local game shop I always go to. I always give shout-outs to. I go to the one that's uh, located like in St. Pete. Um, they had a couple Saturn games, well, one Saturn game that I was interested in, Nights and Dreams, and then one Sega CD title, which I didn't own, uh, Echo, Tides of Time, and this, and this was kind of funny. I actually saw this at a thrift store. Uh, this was Revenge of Drancon, Drancon, and I saw it at a thrift store. I was like, oh, cool, I don't have that Game Gear title. I looked at it, and the inside looked like it was filled with wax or something. I don't know. They looked like they melted something into it. So I passed on it. They wanted like three bucks at the or at the thrift store. Um, and then Eminem had a copy of it. Obviously not the same one because this one's nice and clean. Uh, so I got all of these um, for like 45 And I wanted to give them... They have a YouTube channel now, Eminem Games. Uh, they do some Let's Plays on it. I was talking to the owner uh, of that location. His name's Pat. And they're going to be doing more Let's Plays and possibly other different types of videos on the channel in the future. But I'm going to link them in the description section down below. So go check out their channel. They're a really nice local, actually a little chain uh, store, game store. They have three locations in the area. And that is my like local one that I go to all the time. And they're always nice and hooking me up and stuff. So I wanted to give them a shout. So go check out their channel, subscribe, watch them do some Let's Plays. And there you go. Frank also picked up some stuff when we were at M&M Games. He had some store credit from some trade-ins. Uh, like I said, my camera died, so I didn't get to film it, but he took a picture of it and sent it to me, so here's that stuff. Frank also picked up a pretty cool camera bundle at a garage sale that obviously wasn't in that photo. He got like two cameras and two interchangeable lenses. One of the cameras was a Polaroid camera uh, for 13 bucks, and the interchangeable lenses, one of them was a huge like zoom lens, like that big, so figured uh, just that alone would have been worth $13. And the guy was really knowledgeable at the sale about cameras, which is always nice when someone knows what they're talking about when trying to sell you something. So thank you, random camera guy, I guess. 
Uh, I then got from a viewer of the shoe, from the channel, or a viewer of the channel here, this YouTube channel that you're watching right now, um, Pokemon Pinball, a copy of Pokemon Gold, the trading card game, a Donkey Kong Country Returns, Wii Remote Banana Case Holder thing, or you can store other things in there as well. Um, then we have Resident Evil Code Veronica X, Final Fantasy X2, 10 2, um, Disgaea Hour of Darkness, and that is it. So thank you very much, Natalie Fox. I'm assuming you are a lady, since your name is Natalie. So thank you very much, Natalie, one of my 5.5% female viewers on this channel. <laughs> At least that's what YouTube percentage breaks it down. It's like 94.5% male, 5.5 female that watch me. Um, then Katie, Katie, you got me something this week from the good old zoo. Apparently the animals were done using this. Um, really quick, uh, who was this from? One of the maintenance guys, word of mouth. One of the maintenance people, like repair people at the zoo. He said he had an old Nintendo. Is this guy old? Yeah. Okay, so then yeah, really he, old. he definitely said Nintendo then. Old Nintendo. In his garage. In his garage. It was filthy. And it just came with a power cable. No controller, no uh, AV cable or anything, but it does work. I tested it. Took a little bit of jiggling. Uh, and it's the uh, smooth top version. One of the uh, older models that didn't have the texture to the top. It's nice and smooth. And then we have a little stack of games. He had Tailspin, The Little Mermaid. I can totally see an old man playing The Little Mermaid. Um, Mario 3. Mario 3, and Mario Duck Hunt. All of that free, thanks to the wife. So, You're welcome. Yay! Love you. Um, I th oh, wait, no, that's not it, guys. Uh, this was a pickup earlier in the week for 10 No, 15 bucks. I don't have this exact color. I have a blue PS3 controller, but this is sort of like a darker matte blue. I want to say that this one might have been one of the ones that came in, like, a bundle, like, with the system. Um, because the ones that are just like retail blue controller uh, seem to be shinier. So uh, I don't have this one. So I'm going to keep that. And like I said, I'm, I've always been collecting all the different color variations. So even if it's like a different shade now, I guess I'm going to keep it. And this is the last thing I'll show you. This was from the flea market this past weekend. It was in the 101st episode of EGS, but I actually forgot to film that I ended up getting it uh, Aaron had found this out in the market earlier in the day. Uh, he paid 20 bucks for it. I ended up giving him $40 cash, a fat PS2, and a copy of Mario Brothers 3 on the NES for the Nintendo Power 100 controller. Pretty hard to find a controller. Like I said, I do not have this one in my collection, so happy to add new variant controllers. Uh, I think that is it, everyone. Thank you for watching, as always do stuff to this video. How do you enter? I forgot. Oh yeah, thumbs up this video, uh, leave a comment down below, and then, oh yeah, be subscribed, that helps too. Do all those three things and you're entered for the weekly game giveaway. Thank you all for watching. Say bye-bye. Bye. Peace.